Hello and welcome to Thor News Technical Difficulties Day 2. I'm having problems with my Super Magic Editing program, so I'm having to make low five videos. And it's kind of fun for me, making one take videos, man. You know, it's different than spending 12 hours on a single video. You know, it takes a 20 minutes to make a 20 minute video. It's kind of neat. Um, but I promise as soon as I get my program back and everything running, uh, I'll be back up to speed as one of the best editors on all YouTube. But for now, you're going to run along, ride along with me while well, we look at Earth weather and space weather. Mostly space weather. I'll probably do an Earth weather video later because, man, tell you what, when we're looking at these solar cameras, like here we have a sun diving shark. No, seriously, that's the science term for it, bro. Sun diving shark. There you go. All right, by Goran Strand, 420. And the strange sun lately has been giving us a lot of solar halos which is crazy. They're wild. I've even seen them. Solar halos, moon halos. I do not remember these being as common or even around as they are now. Now they're everywhere. Okay? So, at the moment, we are talking about this giant coronal hole. It kind of looks like a scorpion tail. That can't be good. And it's strange because I do believe the inner part, found a better one for you, yeah, the blue is cooler than the green. So we had our giant V over here, which is our coronal hole, and a giant V in the bottom, and we got a scorpion tail. Now, that's weird, right? Having these geometric shapes in the sun, triangles, and scorpion tails is weird. We have a massive filament over on the side, I always wonder, like, what if the sun blew off the green green layer? You know? It was just like, you're too heavy. I'm tired of you. You're 18 now. Get out! Uh, and uh, we had that giant sunspot, which just now rotated off the Earth-facing side. So that's exciting. Where did you go? Sorry. Here we are. So this giant massive thingy over here, I've been freaking out all week as it was facing Earth, but now, it is not. Because, I mean, it may still be freaking out, but it's no longer facing them. <clears throat> Alright, watch. As, it pops off a major coronal mass ejection solar flare. I just want to see the laser beam. Come on, laser beam. You're ready for the laser beam. Here comes the laser beam. Did we miss the laser beam? All right. We're coming back around. These are on loop. See, as you can see, she's rotated off of Earth's limb. Where's the dang laser beam? Man. Great, see? This is kind of like when Geraldo Rivera opened up Al Capone's vault and there was nothing except for laughter and disappointment. And yeah, that's what I'm getting. The laughter and disappointment because where'd my laser beam go? Oh, man. Way to go, son. Okay. It's like I said, it's the coronal holes now that are the real news. Well, the coronal holes and the filaments because the filaments, which are like the giant plasma structures, have been acting... Wild and crazy. But I'm wild getting wilder. Crazy getting crazier. Look at that giant solar tornado. It's pretty magnificent if you ask me. And over here, this is the best camera for, uh, we're the SDO, GSFC, NASA.gov. This is the best one for the coronal loops. The magnetic loops. And man, I'm telling you, the interesting action is down here and then at the equator. She's been going crazy. But look how giant those are. It's almost like you can see ones extend out to Mercury. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. Every time science is like, oh, we're sure the sun has enough fuel to run for. Five billion years. I'm like, you guys don't know what you're talking about. And I don't think you take 
in account the road the sun is traveling. Like your car may have a full tank of gas, but if it's driving off a cliff, does that really matter? You know, if the sun is doing a tango with its binary companion or with its four solar brothers and sisters, that may take up a little more fuel. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really don't believe we understand much in the stellar formation process. And that's one of the reasons that I make these videos. And also, I believe that the sun affects, is the number one driver of climate. And so, as we see the sun act strange, we see the weather act strange, then we see people act strange. Down here, over here, there's always this weird... It's always pointing to something. That's where I think the solar baby is. But right now, it's just a crazy conspiracy theory. With minimal evidence, though there is some. Okay, what do we got? Let's check over to stereo. And remember, uh, science likes to tell you that solar activity is low. Now, in the middle of this circle, the white circle, is the sun. That's how big the sun is. And the black disc blacks out the sunlight. The black disc at the bottom is because the black disc grew a baby and then the giant ball of light to the left on the bottom is the sun baby and that v looking thing right here this is the, right there this is the cat hair of doom okay and then this kind of right here is the boob clouds that's everything you need to know about what's in this frame got that it's in a watch this is from April 1st to the 21st. Now, tell me if you can see any solar activity. Solar flares, coronal mass ejections, filaments, lightsabers, giant axes, solar roly-poly spins. Um, you know, I can see a lot of activity. The sun doesn't look like it's being lazy at all. You know? Man, I wish this thing was better. You know, I just... Wouldn't it be so cool to watch this camera in, like, actual c color? Like, we're 2016. That would be wonderful, wouldn't it not? I, I was like when they have the dark matter areas. You know, it's like, hey, here's dark matter. All right. So, that was our check of core two. Now, it's check core one. We are searching. We're checking together. That's exciting. All right. Now we have Earth is here and Mercury is here. Now, how cool would it be to watch this camera in color? You know, like like a normal iPhone. You know, like a, so to watch Earth and to watch Mercury in full actual 3D color or a million D color would be so wonderfully fantastic. Wouldn't you agree? I mean... You know, it's better than a blue and white photo. No disrespect, NASA, but like, come on, can't we do better? And I think these stereo cameras are from 1996 or 2006. And hey, guess what? They haven't replaced them and they have no plans to. Stereo behead behind camera has broken. And they're like, yeah, no big deal. We don't really need to watch the sun that much. We don't need a front side, back side camera letting us know what's going on. And this is the same type of mentality that has led to us not touching the moon and 42 years. I don't know. Maybe one day NASA will get done humping robots and get back to uh, being America's space agency. Once the Illuminati takes them out from under their thumb. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Is it just me or does that one coronal mass ejection look like a vagina? And I mean that in a very scientific way. Um, You know, it's that could be a cool term. Okay, maybe not. That word scares people. Yeah. I learned that in The Big Lebowski. There it goes. And then the sun zaps it. Sweet. Okay. Now let us get to our funniest, hilarious camera. Ahead, HI2. It's for me, and it is for you. What do you got? Ooh. I like this one because it's black, white, and gray. Makes me feel like we're in a 1940s movie. Let's go, let's go. L-A-T-S-G-O. Okay, I think this big mohemoth right here is Jupiter. <clears throat> the monarch of the planets. 
Whoa. What was that? Other than weird. Okay, it's weird when I look at this camera. It makes me think that, like, this outer space isn't necessarily space. It's more like an ocean. And there's a bunch of stuff swimming, floating, flapping in that galactic ocean. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you zoom in, I've spent way too many nights watching these cameras. You zoom in and just watch. You can see stuff flapping and floating and flying. And... This camera's so weird, bro. Oh, look. We have our non-neutron star circle coming back. It's not a neutron star. We learned that from Astromite and Das. That's definitely not a neutron star. It's just a weird anomaly in the camera. See right there? You barely see it before the camera gets real shady. Hey, look at those two thingies right there. Hey, guys. Yes, yeah, so that's Jupiter. So, yeah, you can totally tell a lot of stuff by this thingy. Mm, I'm just kidding. See, I guess that is like a re weird reflection of Jupiter in some way, shape, or form. So, look at that, look at that one right there. That guy's like, hey, hello, 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 hello. And what the hell is this guy doing right here? He's just sitting there. I've been watching him for a while. He's just sitting there like, hey, man, I'm moving. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> like he's like, yeah, I'm just going to hang out right here. Everybody else is moving, shaking. I'm just going to sit on my rock and watch you guys. Waste your energy. All right. So we've learned a lot. Uh, or we've learned nothing. But hopefully we've had a good time. What do we got left? Let's take a look at. Oh, we've already been there. Where's my boom? All right. See? That's a creepy looking coronal hole. Now you go backwards. Internet move faster. You hear me clicking? That's right. I'm clicking. All right, this one's a good one. All right. I'm tell a joke. Um, okay, I don't know any. See this ship in the harbor? Um, so, how are you feeling? What are you wearing? What did you have for lunch today? What are you going to do tonight? How are you celebrating this Thor's Day? What is the weather like in your area? What's the coolest thing that happened today? Have you had a good laugh yet? Do you like quiche? Do you think you can be a man and eat quiche at the same time? My answer is yes. Whatever food you eat does not make you any more or less of a man. Now, I may say that because I eat frosting and peeps and uh, like marshmallow bonbons and stuff that may not sound manly or be good for me. But I still eat it. I'm still a total man. Now that our camera's loaded, let us look at it. See those lines in the middle? That means the sun has rings. Science ain't going to tell you that. They even turn the camera so that it doesn't look like rings, but that's what those are. Solar rings. The sun has rings just like Saturn. Pretty sure. And maybe that is what is causing all the halos we're seeing in the sky. It's pretty crazy. Anyway, so the sun has been acting relatively calm for a day or two since uh, that giant sunspot turned around. But it's this one in the middle now that's starting to act up. It's almost like the scorpion tail is coiling around the little phoenix egg. So what is going to happen? We don't know. But there's one thing for sure. Without a super cool editing program, I'm still going to try my best to keep you updated. Because that's what I like to do. I like to make videos. I prefer to edit them and make them go really fast and be very entertaining with no mistakes. And very few mistakes. But that's not the situation we are in right now. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen? Prince has passed away. And so dearly beloved, we are gathered here to mourn. Because that dude was weird. But he was talented. And he seemed pretty cool. And he seemed like he had a good heart. So, I got nothing but love for Prince, man. You know, really, he, 
seemed to have his own mind and be outspoken about the things he believed in and did not like our constructs of control one bit. So, Earth lost another good one. And it's definitely sad because my radio has been garbage for like a decade. And so, with Prince gone, there goes one less person who could write me a great ass song, you know? Apparently, rock and roll, great rock and roll bands are extinct nowadays. That makes me sad. Anyway, National Space Weather Strategy. We have one. Yeah, Sage and I plan to cover this because at one point they said, like, release all the data that you've been hiding. That came from the White House. But not much has changed. Anywho, hopefully we'll cover it again someday. But this has been a long, solar, boring news episode. And I want to remind you, if you ever want to pretend to be like me, just kidding. I highly recommend Artists at Solar IMG. It's where I go almost hourly to check on Earth and space weather. They've got a great collection here. Um, things to watch. I'll throw in a little bonus. If you're still here, you still got a couple minutes. Watch this camera every day, man. This camera's crazy. I linked them all together. And you just watch. Like There's a specific pattern that's repeating in the weather. And often I see shapes on Earth that are just like the shapes on the sun. So yes, I'm going to go ahead and say my science, Thor New Science, says there's a de direct correlation between Earth weather and the sun. So now watch, we're watching the Gulf of Mexico as the giant whip as the giant whipped cream can that gave Houston a record level of rain blows on by. And it looks now that there's another one beginning to form in the Gulf. Man, look at that move fast. This is crazy stuff, though, man. Anyway, I appreciate you watching and staying up on the sun with me. Because uh, it's not as popular as climate science, but it's more verifiable. Because so I can go look out and see the sun just be shining like it's exploding. Or you can go out and see it look like a diffuse orange lava lamp on some days, you know? Like the sun is something we can verify with our own eyes, and that is one of the reasons I like it. Also, it gives me light, and keeps me warm. So, I got nothing against the sun. I don't worship it, but I consider it my friend. Anywho, God bless everybody. Uh, thank you. Did anybody make it to the 18 mark? Sweet. Talk to you soon, because, man, these one-take videos are pretty dang easy compared to what I normally do.